Hello there, in this video I want to show you how to fix the crashing issue when trying to launch the Resident Evil Zero HD remaster and it just gets past this Capcom logo and then it stays at a black screen. Now we'll be going through multiple fixes, I will go through the most common ones and towards the end I will show you the fix that actually worked in my case, in my situation. But these first ones should be enough for most people. It's just that the last one is a bit annoying because you have to keep doing it each time you launch the game. So hopefully these few first fixes um, fix the issue for you. So let's get to it. Now the first thing we need to do here is to go to the control panel by searching it up in the start menu. As soon as you click start menu just start typing control panel. Then click on programs here. Then features off or on and scroll a bit down until you find this media features and make sure it's selected then click ok and it should install the media feature pack and just restart and try the game if it works for you if that doesn't work then navigate to where the game is installed if you have the game on steam it's going to be in the following directory steam steam apps common and you will find resident evil zero folder here but for me i have, I have it installed elsewhere so make sure to find where the game is installed for you now once you find the folder, just go ahead and open this um, download link. I will leave it in the video description. Then download this DLL file. Once it's done downloading, we're just going to have to go and drag and drop it into where the game is installed. And then try to launch the game and see if it works. If it still doesn't, Another thing we can do is to go to the control panel of NVIDIA. If you have AMD, then just go to the equivalent settings for you. Then go to 3D settings, programs here, select the Resident Evil game. If you can't find it in this list, try to find it in this list here or browse for the executable here. Then scroll all the way down until you find vertical sync and make sure it's set to off. And once you set, set it to off, it should display a, an apply button right here and just click on it. Now once it's off, you just apply the settings and then close this window and try to launch the game and see if it works. If it still doesn't, what you can still do is to go to the C drive, then go to the users folder and make sure to click on your username. It should be a different name for you depending on your username. Then make sure you show hidden items here to see this folder or you can also find this option to show hidden folders and items here and then go to app data local then capcom folder then resident evil zero here then this file will show up then you open it with a notepad or a, a text editor and set this vsync option here to off now this should be enough but in my case i had to set the texture detail here to low and this is what made the game actually run for me and after that we go to save now once we save this file we go ahead and launch the game and it should start now you notice that the settings back there is are set to low but that's only to make the game start after it actually starts you can change the settings however you want you can go to the highest settings and whatever resolution you want it's just that once you actually close the game and try to launch it again it might still be in the black screen so you will have to go back to that file edit it, the file and set the textures to low and the vsync option to off and that will allow you to launch the game again so i hope these fixes help you with your problem and peace out.